What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today we have the Maidan multi-tool versus the call to serve a battle of the beasts, a battle between a weapon many people know of, the Maidan, and a weapon not many people know of, the call to serve, which is better, which should you be using? These are all answers hopefully I will have for you in today's video. But before we get into the video guys, you want to win some juicy loot? If so, I have emblem codes, sparrow codes, gift cards and more. To win some, simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. Also join my Discord server that is linked within the video description. Okay, so where to start here? The Mylar multi-tool. It's simply a beast, we all know that. It dominates in most instances within PvP and a lot of people within our beautiful community feel it's OP. It's a weapon which is on offer for everyone to obtain who picks up this game and plays it, which to be honest, I think also adds to the problem. Now, while I actually don't think this thing is OP, I just think a lot of people don't know how to counter it. One thing I will say is annoying though, is the fact a lot of people within PvP team shoot with it. When you are a victim to this, you literally stand no chance. But there are weapons out there, and there's quite a few of them, which you can outgun people using the Mida. Now the only issue I have with the Mida multi tool is the fact we are seeing it's dominating PvP. The issue here I have is because it's a Destiny 1 weapon. A Destiny 1 weapon should not be the best weapon within PvP in a new game full of new weapons. That should not be the case at all, but it's here, people use it, we can either jump on the internet and bitch about it or fight back using the Maru itself or find another weapon in game which puts up an equal fight. Today I think I might have that very weapon for you. But let's first take a look at the Maru and what it offers. So perks on this exotic, we have the intrinsic perk, this weapon boosts movement speed, we have corkscrew rifling, high caliber rounds, Maru radar and hand laid stock. So it's stacked with great mods, infinite radar and high caliber rounds paired with increased ability make this thing the ultimate sit back and pick off weapon. Let's take a closer look at this weapon's in-depth stats. Rate of fire, it will shoot 200 rounds per minute, so that's basically 3.3 rounds per second. So about every 4 seconds we'll see the extra round come into play. Damage to the body it will do 29 and damage to the head it will do 44. Damage per second to the body it will do 87 and damage per second to the head it will do 132. The fastest time to kill is 1.6 seconds coming from 1 body shot and 4 headshots. It will empty its entire clip in 4.22 seconds. Its reload time is 1.7 seconds. Its ADS time is 0.8 seconds. Its recoil direction as you can see on the screen now it basically fires vertically slightly with every shot. The recoil though I must add is easily controllable making it really easy to land all headshots at a distance. So for what this thing's meant for it's arguably the best. Not much out there can touch this at the moment. But there is one weapon which is just as easy to obtain and no doubt you have come across it already and that is the Call to Serve. Now the Call to Serve Scout is a legendary variant. Perks on it, it has triple tap, extended mag or appended mag with a choice of three sights, IS-5 circle, model 8 red and mark 15 lens. So already perk wise you can see it falls short of the Mida, there's no doubt about it. But don't forget guys we are comparing a legendary with an exotic here. So let's take a look at its in-depth stats. Rate of fire is 180 rounds per minute, so it will shoot 3 bullets per second. Damage to the body it will do 34, and damage to the head it will do 48, so that's higher than the Mida. Damage per second to the body is 102, and damage per second to the head is 144, again higher than the Mida. Time to kill though is still 1.6 seconds, which is the same as the Mida. This will come though from 2 body shots and 3 head shots, actually making this easier to kill with. It will empty its entire clip in 5.21 seconds. Its reload time is 1.26 seconds. Its ADS time is slightly slower than the Mida with a 0.9 seconds ADS time. Its recoil direction, as we can see on screen now, does move up and sideways a little, but it's way more stable than the Mida, plus it's a lot easier to control. That probably comes though from the slightly less fire rate it has. So to be honest, when we look at the stats on both of these, there isn't much between these two beasts. But for sure, the Mida is more snappy and a lot easier to handle due to its mods. But the call to serve definitely feels like it packs a harder punch and to be honest I also think if it was the call to serve that was being overused within PvP many people like what said about the Maida would say exactly the same about this as quite frankly the weapons are near identical each has unique benefits but in my opinion I actually prefer the call to serve it just feels right to me the right weapon of choice the Maida will forever be a beast 
but I am afraid Bungie will nerf this thing due to the complaints about it. When that is the case, I guarantee you guys we see the call to serve take its place. Both are truly great weapons, but in my opinion the call to serve offers more for your setup. But saying that, many people's setups are built around their primary choice. When the Mida is that primary choice, nothing else really matters. And with the added options of so many great great energy weapons to pair with the Mida, quite frankly, it's all just a matter of opinion. And which one out of these two works best for you? But I honestly feel if you use the Mida, you would do just as good with the Call to Serve. If you use the Call to Serve, you would do equally as good with the Mida. Just me, I prefer the Call to Serve. Others would disagree though, which is fine. It's all a matter of opinion. And on that note guys, we are coming to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help me out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. If there is another weapon you want to see me review, let me know down below. Thanks again for stopping by people and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Get it right